Hey everyone, welcome to Nerding IO. I'm JD, and today what we're going to be talking about is Hume AI and how to do custom models. And so this means we're going to look at the process of how you can actually build your own model. We're also going to get through the playground and understand the different types of models they have. And with that, let's go ahead and get started. Hey everyone, what we're going to be doing is going through Hume, and first we're going to start with their playground. So the first thing we want to do is log in. We're going to go to the expression measurement playground and just kind of see like some of the uh, the models that we can actually interact with and stuff like that. So if we start our webcam, we can kind of see that it is giving us different facial expressions. I'm getting confusion and concentration a lot, which is entertaining. And then as we're speaking, we can actually see what's going on with this embedding plot. And this is pretty interesting because then we can kind of relate to the all the different quadrants of this uh, this kind of embedding. So I just wanted to show that as like something pretty cool, but they also have this ability to do a voice burst. So as you're speaking, you can see different types of detection and frustration and determination, and also in this uh, in this voice plot. The next one is the speech parity and so or porosity and we've kind of seen this before right where we're seeing it in our uh, applications that we've tried so far but again it has the the embedding plot real quick everyone if you haven't already please remember to like and subscribe it helps more than you know and with that let's get back to it so the other thing that we can do is actually select a model from one of our uh, like from one of the models that they have, right? They have image models, audio models, video models, and then obviously text models. We can either try an example, upload files, or create our own models. And so what we're going to do is just kind of look at this uh, as we're going to go through this attentive and distractive one. So you can just do like a try an example and select a click clip. And then it will go through and actually analyze that file. So we're going to come back to this later on and actually just look at the guts of how to put this together. The other thing is the uh, text editor, which, which we kind of know. So now we're going to actually take a look at the custom models. And as you could see through the examples in the playground, there's a bunch of different ones. And so we're going to be kind of following this path of this attentive and distractive just uh, distracted. And if you click on this, you can kind of see there's all the the different quadrants as labels, right? If, if it's distracted or kind of in the middle, then you can actually see the predictions as well as the labels. You can actually pull up the videos of this data set that they've looked at. And you can actually click on the data set itself. So if we actually go to this data set, you can kind of see that there's not like a ton of data, right? In this specific example, obviously the more data you have, the better. You can see it's kind of split into two areas of focus. There is distracted and there's about 60 videos, I think in here of data to be analyzed and looked at and they kind of split it in between and so it's actually um pretty simple as to how you build your your models and so they they have this tutorial where you can actually go through and take your own data set now i don't have a ton of data um, to actually create this so we're, we're just going to go through the example of how you can do this so if you look at the right here, it says sort your image, your video, and your audio files into subfolders based on their labels. And this video is like super simple. I'm just going to kind of describe what's happening. So basically you can start with a root folder and that's going to be your label of student focus. Then you're putting all your distracted in and you can see that or focus or distract and you can see the labels right you're just changing the file name and then underscore zero one or underscore zero two these are just your examples and you're putting all of this in a root 
Then what it's doing is you're saying, okay, now that you have all these, you need subfolders to actually, these are the, uh, the labels themselves or the annotations that you're, you're putting in there. And you have attentive and destructive. And so now you can take this and actually upload it into a uh, data set. So all you're really going to need to do is go and go to the, the models. You can create a custom data set. And then that is where you're going to be following, like, what kind of columns. All of them would be care, uh, categorical. And then you would go ahead and upload all of that model. And then all you have to do is really run it, and you can analyze it. So this tutorial is actually super helpful. It's, it's pretty straightforward. The videos are, are pretty quick. So if you actually want to go through and build your own model, it's a pretty easy step-by-step -step basis. The hardest part really is getting all of your data and then making sure that it's labeled correctly and then uploading it. So again, if you were to think about the how we would separate this as a folder, you would have your distracted folder, you would have your attentive folder, and then you would just have maybe even the folder called attentive versus distracted. And that's all you really need to do in order to get started in building your own custom models, which you can then use in, uh, in the uh, playground. All right, that's it for us today, everyone. What we went through was QMAI and the ability to look at different types of custom models and how you could actually create a data set in order to make your own model and interact with it. With that, happy nerding.